this happened to me a long time ago when I was a kid. I was home alone one hot summer evening. My parents were out on business and I was enjoying the time alone to do whatever I wanted. Now, we lived in a two-bedroom first floor apartment at the time. From the front entrance was a hall that opened into the kitchen. To the left at the far end of the kitchen was my room, and to the right of the kitchen was the living room which connected to a small den. My parents' bedroom was also connected to the living room off to the right. It was around 9pm when I just finished dinner and began my nightly routine of taking out the trash, brushing my teeth, and shutting down for the night. Before retreating to my room, I remember opening all the windows in the kitchen and living room so that the house would cool down over the night. The windows were all barred so I wasn't really too worried about any funny business happening. Now, I'm a little bit of a security freak, so all the doors in the house have locks including my bedroom and the bathroom. I shut off all the lights and went to my room to watch TV. Right at around midnight, I dozed off. I had a really weird dream, or rather nightmare, of someone knocking on my door with the knocking getting progressively louder. It was really odd because in the dream I was laying in my bed but I couldn't move. The knocking got so blaringly loud until I couldn't stand it, then I heard a scream and woke up. My heart was racing and I was sweating a little, but no damage done. I looked around my room and glanced at my alarm which read 4am. Seeing nothing really out of the ordinary, I brushed the dream off and just laid back down. I closed my eyes and suddenly heard knocking on my actual bedroom door this time. A little delirious, I thought I had slipped back into my nightmare. My eyes shot wide open and I just sat up and stared at my door, trying to listen. There were three slow knocks that followed. My very first thought was my parents were back early with food or something and they wanted me to have some. My dad was pretty notorious for knocking on my door when he got home late at night to check on me, sometimes without even calling my name first. I always told him that it really spooked me out and he should announce himself when he knocks, but he always forgets. I got up and began walking towards the door, but something felt wrong. When my parents come home, there's usually commotion. They might be having a conversation or I can hear their keys jingling, my mom's heels, footsteps something. This time, however, it was dead silent. I stopped halfway to the door and then called out. Who is it? Who's there? No answer. I opened my mouth to call out again, but before I could get the first word out, there were several rapid knocks on the door. Very persistent knocks as if it was an emergency, and whoever was on the other side needed to get in now. I felt a lump in my throat. My mind was racing and the first thing I thought of was that what if it was my dad on the other side and he's in some kind of trouble? What if he's choking and can't speak? What if he needs my help? I was frozen in place and couldn't move. I then said, Who is it? Who's there? Once more. Again, nothing. Please say something. Please tell me who it is. It's not funny, I said. A few moments of silence went by. Suddenly, it was as if someone just threw their whole weight into the door. Rapid loud bangs began attacking the door. Kicks, punches, it was as if there were three people on the other side trying to bang the door down. It was so loud that I started crying. I found myself jumping backwards and crawling to the corner of my room. The violent banging went on for a few more moments, and then silence. I sat in the corner, frozen. My hands were covering my mouth and tears were rolling down my cheeks. I thought this was the end. I was absolutely shocked the door stood still because when I heard the first bang, I thought the frame would come crashing down and whatever was on the other side would instantly enter and end my life. I sat there for a period of time that felt like an eternity. Suddenly I heard clinking, the sound of metal brushing into each other. I knew that whatever was on the other side was going through the silverware drawer. If my life didn't end already, this was my last chance, because I knew I wouldn't get another one. I sprang up and climbed under my dresser sitting against my window. I threw open the curtain and shoved the window down, and then climbed out as quietly as I could. I fell to the sidewalk and ran to the police station down the road. I was absolutely hysterical and told them what had occurred. 
Later that night, my parents were caught as they did an investigation of my house. The only things out of place were a cigarette butt left at the base of my bedroom door, and there was also a butter knife on the kitchen table. In the following months, we moved out of that apartment, and thankfully I can say that was the most excitement I'd ever been through. I soon went to college, graduated, moved to a new state with family nearby, and life is continuing as normal. I'll never know if it was a prank that night or if someone was actually out to get me, but whatever, whoever you are, let's definitely never meet.